Hey guys, it's Shane from Jags Journeys. I'm back today at Warner Brothers Movie World in the Gold Coast. Now there's been quite a few changes happening here in the park since my last visit. So I thought I'd come back today, check it all out and share them with you. And also I think they're celebrating a little bit of the uh, Lunar New Year as well in here. So we'll see what's happening there as well. Anyway, let's go on now and check it all out. So why don't you come along with me and join the journey. So we just made it into the park and just a reminder currently the superman escape ride and also the batwing is down on annual maintenance until the 30th of march so unfortunately you won't be able to ride them and also unfortunately we can't get uh, much uh, view into the construction for wizard of oz so unfortunately we won't be able to provide you too many more updates same with the flash speed force the only thing we can show you and share with you is they have started the new entrance way uh, through to the precinct. I did feature that on my Instagram during the week, so you probably would have seen that, but that's progressed a lot more. The roof's on the structure now as well. But yeah, so essentially you've got uh, the entrance to the flash on the left of the Superman ride, and obviously you've got the entrance to the Superman that'll be on the right-hand side as per normal. And again, we can't get uh, any closer right now to show you anything else actually so um yeah they're working on the superman ride obviously there's flash speed force in there and uh once this opens again from the 30th of march we'll be able to get a little bit closer and definitely provide you more updates actually the only thing i can see down there in the wizard of oz area is some more scaffolding going up so yeah there's looks like there's a structure there now perhaps but that's in the uh, corner of the uh wizard of oz construction area that's exciting and of course we still can't see any vertical uh, support beams yet or track so as soon as we see anything like that we'll obviously provide you another update. Hey guys, good news, the Green Lantern coaster is open today. By the way guys, that is the steepest drop in the southern hemisphere on any roller coaster. Pretty cool. So uh, today on the day of my visit, the Justice League ride is also down for maintenance. It's actually unscheduled maintenance, so it wasn't actually down yesterday, I believe. When I checked the app uh, last night, it was not showing as down, as today is definitely down, unscheduled maintenance. So hopefully it'll be open, maybe later today or maybe tomorrow, or on your next visit. Again, always check on the morning of your visit the uh, ride maintenance, just in case there's other things that are down for the day. All right, DC Rivals Hyper Coaster, definitely one of the best roller coasters in the world. One to ride for sure. And it looks like they've actually cut away all the uh, trees in front of the sign, which is pretty cool. All right, well, the park's only been open half an hour and there's a half hour wait on DC Rivals Hypercoaster as it is. Hey, don't forget, there is a test seat here. You can check 
uh, just before you get right into the queue line. And don't forget also, they have single rider uh, queuing as well, and the ride backwards option, and fast track, which is definitely an upsell. I see what half an hour actually isn't that bad at all to wait for DC Rivals Hypercoaster. <laughs> By the way, the DC Rivals Hypercoaster will be down on maintenance from the 25th of April until the 21st of June. I'll tell you what, it's actually pretty quiet here today, but uh, anyway, we're going to head into Main Street now and try and find some characters. And by the way, the uh, movie at the Roxy Theatre is now back to Scoob 4D uh, since our last visit when we were here. It was still uh, Marvin the Martian. So you can check out Scoob 4D now at the Roxy. It's pretty awesome. Well, being out of holidays too, there's uh, no more uh, boost juice at the moment or bars or anything else. By the way guys, the Dirty Harry Outdoor Bar and Grill is currently actually closed for renovations uh, and upgrades inside as well. So probably for around about a month, uh, this will be closed. Uh, however, the uh, Rick's Cafe American, which is the pizza and pasta restaurant, is going to be open uh, instead of this during the next month ahead. Hey guys, not long now until the Scooby Do Spooky Coast will be back open. We're only talking about maybe another 12 months essentially, but however, we don't know exactly what month in 2025 that this is reopening. Uh, we'll keep you updated as soon as we know more, and obviously, we're going to ride that again as soon as it reopens. Hey guys, by the way, Movie World have just recently updated the billboard here in the park featuring the new Wizard of Oz land, which is opening soon, obviously, at the end of this year. Uh, it's exciting. Obviously, there's going to be two coasters in there, a suspended coaster and a dueling boomerang coaster. So essentially, that's, that's actually two roller coasters in one. And uh, if you haven't already seen uh, one of the videos I've done probably a year or so ago, or maybe a little bit longer, on this whole area when they made the announcement, uh, I've also got um, POV ride footage of the rides or similar rides that you can check out as well. So if you search back on my channel for The Wizard of Oz, uh, you should be able to find that video and it'll tell you all about what's happening here. This picture does show a lot though and explain it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, give you some, uh, some more detail actually. So um, by the look of that, the theming is going to be, again, pretty, pretty immersive, which is really cool. So the Land of Oz there, and obviously you've got the coasters there. Uh, you've got the dueling coasters. And then of course you've got your suspended coaster through here. So that looks pretty cool. I tell you what, we're really, really excited for this. And uh, again, we can't show you too much, can't see too much in park of the actual construction. But once again, excited to see the progress and obviously ride it or ride the rides in there once they open at the end of the year there's a spinner coaster there so yeah exciting times and that's essentially what the ride vehicle is going to look like for the flash speed force uh, well essentially there'll be another one of those uh, carriages there for the people in at the other end of the um, 
it's basically it's like a surfboard essentially so like for example where the photo is taken from is essentially where the other people would be at the other end of the ride so there'd be two ride vehicles uh, on the main ride vehicle there so yeah exciting as, as well that one uh, we're not sure when it's opening again probably I think mid-year now we do know that Doomsday Destroyer is currently down on maintenance and is actually down until I think it reopens same time as Superman and Batwing actually so the 30th of March uh, this will be reopened again and it kind of makes sense also that the uh, shop there is closed in the meantime as well there's just no sort of reason for people to go through there currently but yeah again love this area the theming is unbelievable hopefully when this reopens you never know it might end up going back around its full 360 again wouldn't that be absolutely exciting and that would bring a lot of people back to the ride however we're not going to hold our breath i think but it might uh you never know we shall see either way it's happening on the 30th of march in the meantime though you can come through here into the uh, doomsday destroy area and uh, check out all the theming and, and some of the stuff's interactive in here as well it's pretty cool check it out these gases shall blanket the city of metropolis the screams of horror And last time I was here, I actually did notice that they've uh, seemed to have reactivated some of the water uh, features inside this particular part here with Poison Ivy. They hadn't been working for quite some time, but last time I was here, they were squirting. So I'm not sure if it's working today or not. Uh, but yeah, it looks like they might have got that fixed. And then of course you got uh, Killer Croc here. Again, this is another area where you'll get uh, pretty wet. And again, you can just literally immerse yourself in this area with the theming. It's pretty cool. Definitely probably one of my favorite areas of the park from a theming perspective here at Movie World. And obviously even better when there's more people around. And of course, even better when Doomsday Destroyer is operational. Jeez, I still haven't fixed that yet. And don't forget guys, you can get your hands on some Jags Journeys official merch. I've got my website up and running now. It's jagsjourneys.deco-apparel.com. Make sure you check it out. We've got t-shirts on there. We've got men's, ladies and kids. We've got hoodies. Also got some infants wear and a few other things on there as well. I'd like to say a really big thanks to everyone who has bought some merch so far. It really means a lot to me that you're supporting my channel. Thank you so much. For everyone else, if you haven't already checked it out, Head over to the website, again, jagsjourneys.deco-apparel.com and check it out. Hey guys, so just down at Walwis Falls, 75 minute wait right now. Obviously this is a very, very popular ride. Uh, but just to let you know as well, this will be on maintenance from the 29th of April right through until the 25th of June as well. So if you're planning to come and ride the Walwis Falls, you want to get down here before the 29th of April or after the 25th of June. Actually, it doesn't look like Movie World's doing anything for the Lunar New Year. However, I do believe the Lunar Tune characters will be out at some point and time in the traditional Chinese uh, costume. So uh, we will try and find them and get a photo and show you on the video. Right, I found the Lunar Tunes in their uh, Chinese costumes, but uh, I think it's a prepaid only photo shoot. Yes, it is $25 if you want to get a photo with them all unfortunately but it's down here at the kids WB anyway I'm gonna try and catch the Looney Tune characters in their uh, traditional Chinese costumes 
as they walk in back out the back of the park. And by the way, there's uh, still no progress on this area down here at the Kids WB. Uh, we'll keep you updated if we see any progress. We got to see the Looney Tunes in the traditional Chinese costumes for Lunar New Year. Now, unfortunately, not doing anything else here at Movie World for a Lunar New Year. Other years gone by, they used to do street foods and they used to have shows and the, the dragon or the lion dances as well. But unfortunately, this year, nothing like that here. All right, I think it's time to go and get a coffee. I want to give a really big shout out to Ronan and Ryan. Uh, thank you so much for buying me a coffee this week. It is greatly appreciated and it really does help support my channel. And if anyone else would also like to support my channel, just like Ronan, uh, the link is in the description below. It's also on screen now. By buying me coffees, definitely helps me bring more videos just like this straight to you. Hey guys, so that's going to do it for my book today here at Warner Brothers Movie World in the Gold Coast. Uh, just a quick visit today, uh, show you a few updates on what's happening with uh, the Flash Speed Force entry, uh, the Dirty Harry Bar, Outdoor Kitchen, some changes happening there. Rick's Cafe is obviously open in the meantime. A few rides down for maintenance at the moment, and it was good to see the Lunar Chin characters out with their traditional uh, Chinese costumes on for Lunar New Year. Other than that, the park's pretty quiet, and as I say, the wait times are anywhere from probably 15 minutes to about 30 to 45 minutes max. Although I think Wild West Falls was the only one that actually blew out to 75 minutes. As uh, to be expected though, it's a very popular ride. Anyway guys, I uh, hope you liked the video today. If you did, please give it a like. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to Jag's Journeys to keep the journey going. And by the way, next time you're at one of the Gold Coast theme parks, particularly in the weekends, why don't you ask the staff on the way in, hey, it's Jag's Journeys here today. You just never know where I might be. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next journey.